Jelly Roll's testimony before Congress, why was he on Capitol Hill? The Grammy nominee took time off from her tour to discuss politics in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, in January 2024. Jason Jelly Roll DeFord gave a testimony before the Senate Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs on Thursday, January 11, 2024. The focus of the hearing, Stopping the Flow of Fentanyl, Public Awareness and Legislative Solutions, was a bill written by Republican Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina. The Fentanyl Eradication and Narcotics Deterrence Off Fentanyl Act is a sanctions and anti anti-money laundering bill that targets the China-Mexico illicit fentanyl supply chain, and Jelly Roll urged lawmakers to pass it. Jelly Roll provided information about his background as a former drug dealer and discussed his previous battles with drug addiction during the hearing. I brought my community down, but now I stand here as a man who wants to be a part of the solution, he said. I cause harm to others. At the January 11th hearing, Jelly Roll was one of three witnesses who gave testimony. I was the uneducated man in the kitchen playing chemist with drugs I knew absolutely nothing about. Just like these drug dealers are doing right now when they're mixing every drug on the market with fentanyl and they're killing the people we love, he stated. In the U.S., drug overdoses claimed the lives of almost 110,000 people in 2022, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. During the hearing, Jelly Roll said, I've attended more funerals than I care to share with y'all. I could sit here and cry for days about the caskets I've carried of people I love dearly, deeply in my soul. Six out of ten fentanyl-laced fake prescription pills, according to U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration estimates, now contain a potentially fatal dose of fentanyl. Even though he is currently sober, Jelly Roll opened up about his daughter's mother and revealed how addiction is still rife in his life. Every single day, I have to wonder if me and my wife, if today will be the day that I have to tell my daughter that her mother became a part of the national statistic, he stated. Republican Congressman Patrick McHenry, a representative from North Carolina, prevented the bill from being included in the National Defense Authorization Act in December 2023, despite the fact that the Senate Banking Committee passed the bill unanimously in June 2023. Despite growing concerns from public health officials and the general public about the illicit, often fatal drug, the bill's future is still uncertain. I stand here as a regular member of society. I am a stupid songwriter, y'all, but I have firsthand witnessed this in a way most people have not. I encourage y'all to not only pass this bill, but I encourage you to bring it up where it matters at the kitchen table, he finished, before thanking the crowd of politicians, lawmakers, and lobbyists for their time.